We use Git to save our work. So there are a few types of files you should not commit into a Git repository. The first type is files that do not belong to the project. Examples of these files include um, things like DS store that is present in a Mac uh, OS environment, and things like dbtums, which is present in a Windows environment, things like um, .vs code, which is the configurations for your code editor. So these things don't really belong to a project. We don't want to check them in and pollute the Git history. The second type of file we don't want to check in is files that are automatically generated. Automatically generated files include um, files from preprocessors like SAS to CSS. So you don't check in the CSS, you check in the SAS files. And if you use uh, a JavaScript compiler to compile your source JavaScript into the production JavaScript, like through Webpack or Rollup or something similar to that lines, you do not want to store your production JavaScript into, into the Git repository because they can be generated by a single command. All you want to do is to save the source files. You always keep what you and your team write. The third type of file that you may or may not want to check into your repository is libraries. Now, in, for libraries, I have a split opinion depending on how you manage your libraries. If you are working on a very simple project and you do not use any package managers for your libraries, then you might want to check in your library. That is because if you want to download a library, you have to Google for it and then go to the website and then get the link, get the file and then put it into your project. That process is quite tedious. So if you have that library, you should check it in so other people do not have to repeat that same process to get the same library. So it's more like an ease of use thing in this case. So on the same line of thought, if you use a package manager like NPM, then you should not check in your uh, library because you can always install the library with a single command like npm install. Um, so this is another kind of file that you might want to decide whether to check in or not to check in into your Git repository. Now there's a fourth type of file that you should not check in into your repository and that is credentials. So things like usernames and passwords and API keys and API secrets, these things should not be stored in your Git repository because of security reasons. If someone steals your username or password or credentials, they can use those to do nasty things. One example I have, real life example, is I put up my Amazon um, API key in a private repository and then I sent that repository to a friend because he wanted to take a look at it. My friend didn't know that I had a private key inside that repository and he forked it and made his fork public. So someone managed to find his fork and use my application key and I almost got charged like I think 40 to 60,000 because of that. Uh, but luckily uh, the fee was waived off. I am lucky otherwise I'll be in very in very big of a debt. So if you don't want to find yourself in that same situation, don't check in any credentials into your Git repository. And that's it for this video.